as uh, we are using a Z turn board we have selected this Now we we'll create block. We'll set some processor. Now apply the boot, boot reset. Okay, first of all, we will have to uh, connect all the clocks. Now, for uh, connection of input and output ports, we will have to use GPI ports. XI is value. We have to use XI interconnect. We have to use reset. Now, as we can see, two XI ports are there. We'll use only one port. So we'll select it one. Yes, it has become one. Now, we'll select this. This is GPIO first port, GPIO second port. We'll make it as input 4 bits switch, 4, four bit switches are there, and other LEDs are there. So, GPIO, all the GPIO, GPIO port has become input and it has become output. Now we will select all of them so that the ports should be connected. Now automatically uh, it has become external, external and the ports has been connected. Now we will have to select the module. Uh, we have created one VHL module where all the codes will be read, codes will be written so that we can uh, uh, we can uh, switch on of the LEDs according to the switches. Now in the VHL file we have to write the codes. So now we can see. Uh, You can see uh, one clock is there through which uh, our processor will act. Switches are there, 4 bit switches we have 
uh, initiated LEDs for wheat outputs are there now where the code is simple is that uh, whenever switches the values of the switches are there LED will be acted like that simple code now we'll run the synthesis Yeah, now the synthesis has been completed. Now we'll go to the block diagram. Then here we will add the module. Sorry. Is that tutorial for a VHD module? We are adding here. Okay, now we'll uh, make them external. Now I will just so mm, the switch will connect switch to switches. The LED will be connected to LEDs. Now now this will be connected to this. Uh, this can be connected. This will connect clock over there so now we can see whether we make connection sorry yes we should delete it now we'll verify the design it is showing some errors but uh, okay Now it is showing variation successful. Okay, okay. Then we'll generate the piece. Sorry. Now we'll click here and right click generate output products. Generate. Now as uh, all the products has been generated, now we'll create a HDL wrapper. As a uh, as uh, HDL wrapper has been created, created now uh, we'll run implementation. Now it has started. Now we are opening the implemented design. So where we have to change the pins. Yeah, yeah, we can, here we can see that uh, all the pins uh, we have identified over there. So now we'll generate the pit stream file. The stream right has been started. Now we can see that bit, bitstream generation has been successfully completed. Now we'll open hardware manager as uh, because uh, we are uh, working on the PL side of the zinc processor. So uh, as uh, switches is connect switches are connected uh, to the FPGA, the PL side, and also. LEDs are connected to the PL side only, so we we don't have to just create uh, uh, ARM processor programs. So we'll just here uh, from that part we'll download the program to the Zinc processor. Yeah, and we'll download the program. 